is in Rabotai. People think that the Yetzara has changed. He hasn't changed. He just modernized himself. The Yetzara is very modern. He's very he's so modern, he's more modern than you. He knows about the fashion that's gonna come out before you do. Why? He's responsible to bring that stumbling block in front of us. And a person that thinks that they're gonna be able to use this excuse in Shemaim should also read another thing that Shlomo Amelech said. Where he says in Mishle, in Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 21, and you read it in your prayer in your Sidu. Rabot machshavot belevish ve'etzat Adonai hitakum. Shlomo HaMelech, the wisest of all men, says many designs, meaning many ideas, are in a man's heart, but the counsel of Hashem, only it will prevail. Meaning that a person can have all types of ideas. He can have an idea, no, no, I'm going to do this business, I'm going to be a billionaire. Okay. It's good you have confidence. It means zero. As far as, it's good that you can have confidence. It's very good. You need to have confidence before you do something. But as far as whether that's going to lead to a certain outcome, absolutely not. Unless that confidence is in Hashem. If that confidence is in Hashem, that could actually change the outcome. Why? Because having confidence in Hashem by itself gives Hashem a reason to give you what you want. If what you want is good. But as far as to just have confidence, I'm going to start this business and therefore I'll make money, doesn't mean anything. Maybe it may means something on, you know, on, on, in uh, fairy tale land. You know, all these uh, gurus of today, there's like a new guru every day today. Everybody's a new guru. Used to be just Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, and a few other uh, guys that said the same ex- exact idea in different words. Now every Joe Schmo is a guru, has a YouTube channel, and he sells you a course that says absolutely nothing for $2,500. What did he tell you? You have to work hard. Wow, $2,500, you have to work hard. Ch- cheap. You have to believe in yourself. That's worth 3000 at least. You give me a discount. You give me a discount. Wow, what a deal. You have to listen to all my videos and buy the books that say the same exact thing as everybody else before me. Balash. Free, almost. Free. Let me just give you my money. Every day there's a new guru. Some of them never made money working $15 an hour even. First job, being a guru. I'm going to teach you how to be a millionaire. How? Do what I do. Tell people how to be a millionaire. The guy never made a dollar. But that's, people are buying it. People are buying it. They start these courses. They drag you on for an hour and a half. By the time you listen to this Joe for an hour and a half, you already feel committed. No, because he gave you a free seminar. All my secrets, I'm going to unveil to you. An hour and a half later, he hasn't said anything. He hasn't said a thing. He told you his sob story of how he used to be homeless before he fooled people like you and how he did this and how he did that and he was tired of being alone. He was tired of day-to-day job and the grind and poor him and now he figured out how to do it and now I'm going to tell you but let me, before I tell you, let me tell you what else I went through an hour and a half later. I'm like, okay, tell me something. Ah, oh, you want me to tell you the real secret? Subscribe here. $26.99, not $26.99, $2,699. And guess what? They're selling it by the dozens. By the dozens they're selling it. Then you buy it. Gives you the course. Guess what? He still tells you nothing. He tells you the stuff you could get for free on the internet. But then you feel like, I'm already invested into this thing. I'm invested, I'm committed to it. So when the guy starts selling you all of these emails, you have to come, you have to listen, you have to do this, you watch the YouTube, you watch all these private videos and all this nonsense, he tells you, oh, there's a special seminar only for my select students, only select ones. And it happens to me that my select ones could afford to pay me $5,000. But they're select though, they're select. They're special people. Like, you know, they, they have to be. It happens to be that they can afford to pay $5,000. It happens to be. And then people buy into that. And then they go to a bunch of places. And they're surrounded by a bunch of other morons that fell into this system. And every single person paid $5,000. So what do they do? They all jive up each other. They all gas up each other. Yeah, you bought into it. Yeah, yeah, it's real. Yeah, yeah. No one knows what's going on, though. 
Except the guy that's collecting in the back. Ching, 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 ching. Oh, another guy. Oh, yeah, he's selected. He's special. Yeah, yeah, we love this guy. What's his name again? Yeah, yeah, special, special. 5,000 clear? Okay, special. Special. They're all special. $5,000. 5,000 people show up. The guy makes $20 million for doing nothing. And then he goes up on stage, curses a few times to make you feel like you're friends. You know, wants to make sure, make sure that you speak the same language. You curse, he curses. You're tired of being uh, down, he's tired of being down. You're going to beat the man, he's going to beat the man. You're going to beat the system, he beat the system. And you're going to learn two, three, four hours of absolute nothingness. But guess what, guys? The next seminar is going to be even better than this one. And you get a free book at the end. But I have this one. No, no, no. It's a special edition. I signed this one. It's the limited edition for special people that were stupid enough to pay me $5,000. And guess what? They do it. And they pay again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And after they realize it's full of nothing, it's emptiness, guess what? They go to the next guru. Why? Because the next guru gives you another video, and he has nicer cars in his, in his video. So he must have made the money. Because he has, he has a Lamborghini in the background. They don't know it's rented. And maybe it's even uh, like Sonny knows how to do this. What is it, what is it called, that thing in the background? It's fake? Green screen, green screen. It's fake. It doesn't even have the car. He doesn't even have the car. Sometimes it's rented. Sometimes he doesn't even have the car, but it looks real because it's a video. Like if Sonny wants, he can put, give me an elephant head for a second. In a video. Tomorrow you can say, wow, look, your own has elephant head for a second. Look at that. Wow. You can do anything with video. And people are buying into this. And they spend, they go to the next guru. And then they see a guru, some, some news outlet uh, wrote about him, CNBC, CNN. It's all paid, by the way. They pay them to do it. They have a publicist. They pay him five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month. Listen, make sure I'm on the news. Get me on the news so I can tell people I was on CNN. I was on this one. Like, they actually care about my opinion. And then it looks like this guy is well-to-do. He's successful. Guess what? He sells more of this junk. And people buy into it and buy into it. And today, one of these uh, commercials that you have on uh, YouTube, they uh, some kid, this kid, honestly, if he still wears a diaper, I wouldn't be surprised. But he's a guru. He didn't look a day older than 16. But he happens to be a guru. He still has braces on. Still has braces on. And he, you know, he talks like a little kid that has braces on. But he's telling people how to be rich. I'll bet anything he never had a normal job in his life. But he's teaching people, and guess what? He's going to get paid. If he already has enough money to put uh, publicizing on YouTube, it costs a lot of money. So he's already getting some stupid person to actually pay him for this. And there's countless people like this, countless. Why? Because people are not searching for the truth. What are they searching for? Quick way out. Quick way out of my problems. A quick way out of this circumstance. This is also has to do with the Mashiach, ideology that people have where they want Mashiach now, Mashiach now without actually knowing any of the laws and the actual reality that has to do with Mashiach. Where it actually says Mashiach comes, it's going to be Gogu Magog. It's going to be war. Lots of people are going to die. You're going to know some of them. It's not going to be a fun time. If Rabbi Eliezer ben Holkinos and all of the sages that discussed Mashiach said they were scared to live at the time of Mashiach, but you're saying Mashiach now, it's a little bit of a problem, right? They knew more than you and they were scared. How come you're not scared? How come you're not scared? So, that's the thing. People think that Mashiach is like the social security office. You know, it's going to give you some money. Or unemployment, unemployment. Oh, yeah, they fired me, poor me, they fired me. Okay, no, what do you want from us? I right, want you to give me a check every two weeks. Oh, okay, no problem. Fill out over here. Do, do, do. It's not our money anymore. We'll give it to you. No problem. Here you go. 500 bucks a week, 1,000 bucks a week. No problem. People think that's Mashiach. What happened to you? Oh, I made all these sins. Oh, you made all the sins? Okay, what do you want to check? How much? How much do you want me to pay for this? Okay, here you go. Check, here you go. Give it to God. Go, give this check to God. He'll pay for all your sins. That's what the think Mashiach is. Mashiach is going to pay for their sins. That's Christianity. So, it's very, very important for a person to know, as much as we make this issue humorous a little bit, to lighten up the topic, but the reality is, it's, it's a hor horrible mentality. 